Hello, welcome to the vlog. I look like a boy. It's actually funny because I put my hoodie on to look like a boy to do a TikTok. It was hilarious. There's this filter on TikTok that's called Bearded Cutie and it makes you look like a boy, but like a it's Tuesday. I have half my makeup on. Um, I've got a little thing and I was taking... Oh my god, why is it so noisy? Be gone. It's the end of my day on Tuesday. This is what's happening. Um, I don't actually think it's that late yet. I think it's maybe half nine. Uh, I've just ran a bath. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I put baths. I want to talk to you about what I'm doing with my bath. So, I've changed a few things in my life and I think it's helping maintain a healthy balanced lifestyle. Um, I used to go for a bath and watch like a film or a programme at the same time. I've started listening to music instead. I like it. I think it chills me out more. I was doing men... I was watching stupid things in the bath, like Snowpiercer and like just stressful things. So I was in a nice relaxing bath but being completely stressed out by what I was watching. Not in a bad way. I quite like the stress of like an in intense programme. My baths were meant to be my... Oh, what's that time? So... I've swapped the laptop for music and I actually take my Kindle in the bath as well and I have a wee like 10-15 minutes reading and not only is that great for chilling out but actually lying in the bath is really good for you. It gets your heart rate going. I always put salts in my bath so it gives a chance for all the salts to work and if I'm washing my hair then I'll do like my hair mask at that time so I'll chill and read my book while my hair mask's cooking. I'm starting to vlog a wee bit late. Usually I kind of start filming on Tuesday mornings but Monday the whole day was super busy with meetings. We've also got scaffolding right around our house at the moment. Because of the height of our house, uh, we can't get the leaves out the gutter without scaffolding, which is quite intense, if I'm being honest. We also had a couple of things we needed to get. Some cement looked at around chimney pots, and there's a wee bit at the front of our house, like there's like a little mini roof that needed redone. So we were getting all that work done at the moment. Again, it kind of reminds me of getting windows done. It's not the most fun thing to invest in your house. It's not like, it's not like nice mirrors. But it's stuff that's really good to do now in case, like, I think because the gutters were full, there was some leaking going on out of the gutters onto the stone and near the lintels and things like that, which can then get rotten. So anyway, it's a good thing to do it. It's just a boring thing. No offence to anyone that does that for a living. So it's been quite noisy around here, but I've, I've honestly just been back-to-back -back meetings. I filmed a podcast today as well, which was so good. Uh, I really loved it. So I'll let you know when that goes live. And yeah, apart from that, it's just been a bit mental around here. I've got a few beauty products to talk to you about as well. One thing that I mentioned on Instagram, but I want to talk about it again because I'm going to I'm just about to do it again. Um, so let's go through to the bathroom. While I'm sat here, do you know how many of these I've drank today? This is my fifth. And yesterday I had four. And it's not even like I'm forcing it down. I'm literally drinking it. And apparently the more you drink, the more thirsty you get. So the more you just drink normally. It's very dark in here, but that's it's perfect. Look at this. Pure candlelight. It's my favourite thing, honestly. And just imagine you've got the music on. I also put a plant in here. This is my pothos, my bath pal. And, right, we don't use the shower in this room. No, I don't know why. It's okay. But it just, this root bathroom's all getting ripped out really soon. So what did I do? I put a dog bed in it. And Juno can lie in the shower when I'm in the bath. And she loves it. Um, so it's actually, it's look quite, it looks quite nice in here. This, oh my God, I love when a plant is doing well. See if you are looking for nice plants and you don't know where to start, this has been really easy to keep. Uh, it's just called a pothos. There's a website I love buying my plants from called Hortology. I'll find one of these and I'll link it for you. Okay, let's talk about some products. I've got an empty for you. Dr. Tails, I've worked with them before. I think it was, oh my God, it was at the house. It was at the old house I worked with them. But they do keep me stocked up. They know that I love their stuff. Really affordable. Uh, this is their Pure Epsom Salts Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Honestly, I like all their salts. If you've not started putting salts in your bath, this is your sign. And then for my bubbles tonight, I just used, this is the Dr. Teal's Coconut Oil, Nourish and Protect Skin. Okay, I wash my hair in the bath. I think some people don't like doing that. That's fine. I do it and my hair is feels nice. This coconut oil, I was worried that it was going to make my hair greasy. It doesn't. So just to let you know. And then, Oh, what one is it I use? It's a salicylic acid one. As for body wash, I'm gonna just go through my whole baths, all my bath stuff really. One thing I really want to talk about is this. It's the Inky List Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Treatment. Since having COVID, my face, skin, and my scalp have been so dry. Uh, I've never had dry skin on my face before in my life and I've never had a flaky scalp. To the point where it wasn't, uh, was it upsetting me? It was stressing me out a little bit. Like I went down to London and I was brushing my hair and I could just see 
like a flaky scalp and I was like what am I meant to do? People are going to say that I've got a flaky head. So like I would, I would, I stopped um, wearing my hair down as much and I would do a slick bun instead because then at least I can, you know, put a mask or something in or really smooth it out. Anyway, it bothered me enough that I was like, I need to find something. I remembered that Inky List brought out hair stuff and sent me a package months ago. Went looking around in it, found this. I'm going to do it just now, but all you do, give it a shake. It's got like a little twist and it, like the little like nubbin. <laughs> And I just go right along my parting and then either side and I go right over my scalp, massage it in, rinse my hands, leave it for 10 minutes. And then after that, you just shampoo and condition like normal. One go of this, it was like 95% better. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. And not only that, my hair wasn't um, getting as oily as quick, which I'd complained about recently. So I had a, like a dry scalp, but my hair was getting really oily. I was like, make your mind up, make your mind up. Not only have I not had a flaky scalp, I've not washed my hair in a week and it still looks nice. Try this, if you've got a dry scalp or you feel like you've got really like greasy hair that gets greasy really quickly, try this. I don't know how it is for colourful hair but I've got quite a lot of like bleach and stuff in my hair and my hair felt fine. I did do a hair mask straight after, maybe that's a good idea. Or if you've got really damaged hair, maybe do the hair mask first and then use this in your scalp. I mean I don't think that they could sell something that would make your hair like break right it must be a really gentle amount of salicylic acid anyway i'll link this below you need to try it hands down it's the best shampoo and conditioner i love the way stuff i love the redken stuff and i love the davenes that's what i use all the time but i wanted to try orbe orbe are really a really beautiful luxury hair care brand and i've got their signature shampoo and signature conditioner do you know what really sold me it was it says a daily indulgence and i was like i want that so I've been using this. I've only used it twice, but if my hair, again, it felt really, really nice. Um, I actually got loads of compliments on my hair in the last, like the last time that I washed it and styled it. Loads of people saying, is that all your own hair and stuff? So I kind of take that It's a good thing. Another brand that I've had sitting ready to use for ages and I got it all out after I cleaned all my bathroom and I put it all out and I've been using it ever since and I'm obsessed. It's very, very like gentle scent. It's not too strong. It's Keys Soul Care. So I've got the Renewing Body and Hand Wash. I've been using this as my shower gel. Beautiful. I've been using their Golden Cleanser. So nice. Really nice for taking makeup off. Not too foamy but still really good. I wouldn't, I, I use this as like my second cleanser or like I've got hardly any makeup on today. I would use this now, but if I had a full face of makeup on, I would use maybe a balm or an oil first. Beautiful, this is their body polish. Oh my God, I did a proper pamper where I did like head to toe everything. And I used this before I shaved my legs and then I got into clean sheets. Oh my God, it's the best. And I think I've spoken about this a couple of times, right? And I start it and then I, I'm not persistent, but I've been doing this lately, like proper, like every time I have a bath or shower, I've been using the Keys body brush. I've had body brushes before that are too hard and they hurt. This is how hard I can do it. It's very like uplifting, I don't know. So you're, you're meant to always dry brush towards your heart, I've read. Um, so I literally go from the bottom of my legs all the way up, bum. I give the backs of my legs and my bum a good going over, get everything moving. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. I mean, I think it's meant to do cellulite and stuff like that, but I see just the general act of doing this feels nice. It's actually, it's nice for dry skin as well. Gets everything moving. I see people working with this brand all the time. Hey Astrid Razor, it's the best. I've got a subscription which sends it's like, it's not that, it's not expensive either. I think it was like 9 99 and you get brush heads and then you're on a subscription and they'll send you new brush heads. So this is like solid and it comes with a wee thing that you can sucker to the wall and then they send you the new, the new razor heads. This is the best razor I've ever used, for sure. I've never had a good one before. I used to always get the Venus ones. I'm only going to use my conditioner and I'll leave it on for like 10 minutes, but I'm not going to do a hair mask because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I'm getting proper colour extensions again. And I've not had my colour done in ages. I feel like me and Jack, I think we took my extensions out, Jack Baxter took my extensions out and then just left me. And I've not had my hair cut since we razored my own hair to match my extensions. So usually when I've got my hair short, I get a really blunt cut, so it's super thick, but I've actually got razored ends at the moment, just so it blends back in with my extensions. There's no point in cutting it blunt and then having to do that again. Shall we talk about toilet paper? 
we have always just got whatever was on offer. I've been getting hit with ads upon ads of who gives a crap. And it's the thing that's like you get a big box of toilet paper and they're all individually wrapped. But everything's recyclable and the toilet paper is made from bamboo, which is a grass. So it just grows without fertiliser, so it's really eco-friendly. I think I retain quite a lot of information. I can't believe I just remembered all that. It works out at the same price as like luxury toilet paper from the supermarket, like Andrex. I used to beg my mum to buy Andrex because of the advert. That's good marketing. This is great toilet paper. It's very strong. It's thinner than you think, which made me realise you don't need the thick stuff. You don't need it. If you're running out of toilet paper, I highly recommend. Bet you didn't think this is what you're getting this week. So I'm gonna use my speaker. I love having music on in the bath. And I've always played the same playlist. It's my like zen playlist, or I've got one that's like, it's called Let's Get Sad. It's just, it's kind of sad songs, but I really like it. And yeah, that's it. That's like my bathing ritual at the moment. And these products are the products I've got laid out. I've got other ones in the cupboard that I like dip into because I'm moving out of this bathroom soon. And I know I say that all the time, but because we're ripping this bathroom out soon, I've moved all my stuff um, to the shower room where I'm, I'm really happy we've got another bathroom to move into so I'll be without a bath but that's fine I feel like I've really had loads of baths in this bathroom already I'll see you back at my desk and we'll do skincare together because I've got a couple of products I've been using for when my skin's really dry that are phenomenal and affordable I'm so warm do you love my yellow pyjamas? I do on my hair because I'm getting it done I'm just going to put some of my usual I don't know where I put my big version, but I've, I've used these for years. This is the Davines Oi All-in-One Milk and the Oi Oil Spray through my hair. I've just got the travel size, one of these. I love travel size hair stuff. So I just put that kind of all over. Then I do two pumps of the oil and I kind of do the ends, just the ends. And let's see how the scalp is faring. It's amazing. It's so good. And my hair is, yeah, not tuggy at all. Maybe a wee bit drier than usual, but it's not really a bad thing. I think my hair was almost overdone with product, which is what was making it start to go a bit greasy. Honestly, like, see here, it would have been really bad. So my face feels dry, and it's never dry, and I've used that cleanser before. Cleansers never really make my skin feel that dry, but it's just, I honestly think it's just COVID. I've heard it. Uh, a lot from people. So this is a skincare routine that I've been following that I think is really good. First thing, the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I was using the La Roche-Posay Tolerine Spray, love it, ran out, I've been using this since and I really really like it. I love the way it smells and I really like the can, it's not an aerosol can but it's just nice and you get loads in it. So I do that first to moisture, moisture my skin surge of water. The polyglutamic acid from the Inky List. Those are two products that I've still been using. Uh, and the other products I've been using from the Inky List a lot are the hyaluronic acid cleanser, which is really nice for getting makeup off, and the Omega Water Cream, and their hyaluronic acid is really nice as well. But this has been my new thing. Really nice mix with foundation too. So straight away, oh my god. It's like giving my skin a glass of water, but it is and next, this is a bit wild. La Roche-Posay has a new moisturiser out, right? And it's part of their Tolerine collection, which is not very sexy, but it works. And this is the Tolerine Cream. So it's for super dry skin. It's like daily repair moisturiser, so you can use it morning and night. I've been getting two pumps of that. It's cool, I like this. Look, you twist and it shuts, and then you twist and it opens. And I mix that with Valida Skin Food. Uh, this is rich, intensive skincare for face or body, and I get like equal parts. This is a lot, but watch what happens, right? I'm actually scared. I don't know why I'm scared. So I do that, and then I literally just get my hands warm up, mix them together, and I just I literally put it everywhere. I put it over my eyes. I noticed that I had dry skin on my eyes. I was like, what is going on? And I was using my eye cream that I've been loving, but it wasn't doing it. So I go right over my eyelids. I've honestly, I've never had skin this dry in my life. And I've just been using my face towel. Um, I'm gonna go back to all my other skincare probably tomorrow, but the last few days I've just needed to treat it like for what it needs. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm back on Revitalash. I don't know why I stopped using it. It was like when we moved house, 
I just kind of fell off my whole routine, honestly, when I was moving around rooms and my stuff was still packed. So I'm back on Revitalash, but I'm also using Revita Brow just through my natural brow hairs. And I think it is making my brows look thicker, which is nice. I don't really need extra growth. I'd like my, the tail of my brow to grow in a bit stronger. So I go over that and I kind of go back on it. And I go right over the whole area because it makes the hairs around my brows grow in. Uh, and maybe I can make them a bit thicker. So I've seen, I've seen a difference. Like I think they look quite thick. And the tail actually, that's that has grown in, hasn't it? I think this would be amazing if you really were struggling with sparse brows, if you overplucked or you were just really needing them to grow in thicker. But I can see a difference on me. Then Revital Lash. I literally do this every night. It's so nice. I do swap out my products quite a lot, just depending on what my skin's needing. Like I'm going to need to start doing some acid just because I've got a little bit of scar in here. And I've got like some blemish marks around. So I'll start using either a chemical exfoliator or one of the serums that I've got with vitamin C. But for now, I'm just going really easy on my skincare just to get that hydration in and drinking loads of water to hydrate from a cell on a cellular level. But wait until you see this, right? I did this today. Tell me in the comments, have you tried Revital Lash? Do you use it? Have you tried it because of me? And do you love it as much as I do? Because it's the one thing that actually I would look back at old videos or photos and be like, oh my God, I look quite pretty. It makes you, I think it makes you look quite pretty having long eyelashes. But look, there's the eyelash curler. Look how good. It looks like I've got mascara on. And then my lip balm, I've been using the antioxidant lip repair, restorative treatment for damaged or aging lips. Skin's dry, scalp's dry, lips are dry. This is a bit of a weird lip balm, but it's good. Like, look, it looks quite white, but I think it's working. It's doing what it needs to do. And then a wee bit of my tanning water. New tan tanning water, another product that I use all the time. So that's it for my hair and my skin. Oh my God, I cannot believe how much better my scalp is. Like it's the tiniest wee bit, but honestly, you should have seen it before. It was how you like in a snow girl. <laughs> not good, it was not good. Uh, the last thing I've got is something I've spoken about on Instagram, but not here. I was approached by a CBD company, CB2, I'm sure it's called. I'm gonna have to double check that, but it's like CB Roman numerals 11 II. They know that I love CBD, so I've talked before about like the wildflower sticks, I take CBD supplements. I've just dabbled in the world of CBD and they got in touch wanting to send me out a kit in the hopes of working together in the future, but they just wanted to hear what I thought and let me try it, see if I liked it. I've been taking a CBD every night. I have been sleeping sound every night. I feel much more relaxed when I'm going to my bed. Usually when I lie in my bed is when my head starts getting a bit jumbled and I just end up lying awake with my head going at 100 miles an hour. But I've got this new routine. What I do is I take, I, like, I finish up on my phone basically, put my phone on charge, take my CBD and then I sit and I read and I get maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour of reading done, which is great. I do, I kind of want to read that much at night if I'm honest. And then I just start to start to feel myself sinking into like a bit of a cosy slumber. I'm asleep within five minutes of me putting my book down every night. I've had the 2% and I've had the 5%. I've ran out of the 5% because you get these little trial sizes. So it's, it's really small. Look how green it, I've got a bit of a fright. <laughs> it's, um, look how dark it is. Can you see? I, I really, I really think it's amazing. CBD's got loads and loads of benefits, but I suppose the, what, the more benefit that I would go for most is helping me sleep and making me chill out. And this absolutely does that. I like the 5%. Uh, but I've got 2% here that I've been using up and it's actually, it's doing the job. I've just literally been going, hunger mm, mm, mm. come with weight for like 30 seconds. And then I just swallow it and then I have a bit of water. <laughs> it's definitely the most, like it's the strongest taste in CBD I've tried. I think it's quite amazing. So I'm not working with them yet. Like I said, they wanted you to send me to try it. But I mentioned it on Instagram and a few of you said to keep you updated. So now that I've had that, I need to go, I'm gonna go and lie down and read my book now. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow, we'll go and get our hair done. I'm really fucking excited.
if you know what film that's from, 10 points. It's Thursday. Look at my hair. Oh, I, I'm sans makeup. Well, I've got a wee bit of eyeliner and mascara on, but I have had a busy day of appointments for me. <laughs> Today's a therapy day. I had my cranial sacral therapy, which I've spoken about a bunch of times before. I've never really called it therapy before, but actually it is it's therapy. Today was one of the days where I went in and I got told, yeah, you're doing all right. I was like, cool. Uh, it's made me quite tired, I'm quite sleepy. Uh, I drove here with the windows down in fresh air because I was, I felt myself when I got in the car, I was like, oh, I'm a bit tired. My hypnotherapy is mostly for the biting of my cheeks. So I mentioned that a few vlogs ago, so I, I said that I would let you know how I get on and I guess that I will. And then tonight, I'm hosting a masterclass tonight with Levi. Levi is an amazing makeup artist that works with us a lot on shoots. Um, so she does um, a lot of like the model prep. Sometimes she does models entirely herself as well. She's incredible, she's amazing. But we're hosting a masterclass tonight because today is the official launch of the new lipsticks. I'll, I'll pop on the screen me put them all on. We made like a reel just of me wearing them all. I'll pop it here while I'm chatting but oh my god these lipsticks are... I didn't think that there was, there was going to be lipstick shades that I would love as much as the original five nudes or a Remuse lipstick or a red lipstick which is perfect to me but these are so good. They are so easy to wear and I think the shade names are my favourite I've ever done. I'm so sleepy today. Oh I have the therapy. I don't even know what's about to happen. Am I, am I gonna get put to sleep? Jack was like, what if he, what if he programs me to bulk like a chicken or something? Cluck like a chicken, bulk like a chicken. My world has been, my world, my world has been rocked. Pronunciation of names in books, never something I'd thought about until me and Cara, so me and Cara are reading these books at the same time, which is really, really fun. And I'm just realising now that I've been pronouncing characters in, in my head, I've been pronouncing characters' names wrong. For example, there's a name that's spelt C-H-A-O-L. I was convinced it was Cole, don't know why. It's not, it's Kaol. 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 There's also another character called Aelin. I was convinced it was Aelin. It's Alan. Uh, and then the last one for now, Fair. F-E-Y-R-E. Fair. No, it's Fera. Mind's blown. I'm loving my hair. It's great. And you will have seen, um, this is my old extensions. So see when you get tapes from Beauty Works, you can remove them and retape them and put them back in. And it's great because the hair was amazing. You can use the hair up to three times. And I helped Jack Baxter with it. That's the, uh, it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun when you get your hair done by a friend because we just work together on it. Um, but the salon was dead, it was empty when we did my hair, so it was really fun. It was just a really nice day. It spent, I was spent all day there though. I think I was there from nine in the morning till I got home at four. So it took, it took a while. We did a bit, um, low lights right through the back and then the baby lights around the front to keep this fresh, cut a wee fringe in, but nothing too nuts. I need to style it actually. But look, that's my fringe. So it's a low commitment fringe. And then, yeah, my extensions, just put them back in. We toned my extensions as well, just because I wanted to be, I guess, am I brunette now? Feels like it. I really want to put fake tan on. I love this hair when I've got fake tan on, but I'm still waiting on my tattoo healing. And then last night, you didn't miss much. I got home and I did an interview, which went really well. Caught up with my, all my programs. Euphoria, I'm loving this series. Sydney Sweeney is an incredible actress. Um, and then the Snowpiercer has new episodes out. Last but not least, but maybe least. And just like that, what are we thinking? I don't like the way that Miranda's character's been written. It's not who she was in Sex and the City at all. Missing Samantha a lot. But Miranda's character, see the like the wokeness and or the the lack of the wokeness, I don't know. It just it's like the, the cringiest thing to watch, isn't it? Yeah, tell me what you think. I don't would I be sad if there wasn't the next season? Maybe. I'd kinda love it for the like I just love <laughs> I love seeing what Carrie's gonna wear next. But yeah, I don't know if it's for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'll let you know how I get on. Scary. Okay, bye. Look at all the scaffolding. They have just fixed, like, this little bit of roof. But it's very noisy in here because they're taking it down now. The work is done. The whole way up our house. It's quite cool. <laughs> Can you hear that?
It's quite noisy. It's great though. Gutters are fixed, roof's fixed. Woohoo! I've been filming this morning. I need to tell you about hypnotherapy. Super interesting. I learned a lot about it when I was at my appointment. The guy that I went to was really brilliant. I'm gonna wait and see what happens before I like recommend. I don't want to like recommend a therapist. And I don't even know if you're kind of meant to do that. I don't know. I don't know what the what the usual etiquette, the therapy etiquette is. Hypnotherapy was saying that you get people, I think they say high, medium and low, right? People that are high go into hypnosis really easily. Medium, they kind of go in easily, it takes a bit longer, and then low, it takes quite a while. I was, high. <laughs> it was a really surreal experience. I really liked it. I think it was great. I said this when I got home, I don't think it's for the faint of heart. It's just in case, like I can't imagine going into something like that and being told something you didn't know. I can imagine that being quite difficult. That didn't happen to me, but it was just really interesting figuring out where this like behaviour that I've got stemmed from is not what I expected. I've not bitten my cheek since yesterday. I've kind of gone to do it and then I've gone, oh that feels kind of uncomfortable doing that now. Uh, I'd probably, I like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just a placebo effect or whatever. One thing that I think is really cool and I didn't know this either, but when you go for hypnotherapy, the, the therapist, it sounds like it obviously feels like they're speaking to you, but they're not. They're speaking to your subconscious. So I was sitting, right, and I was, pr I think I was like this. He was asking questions and then at like, kind of acting like he got a response and I was like, I don't say anything. Um, but my hand was twitching and my head was nodding when I was under hypnosis. I just thought it was really cool. Um, he said that when I got out of it, he was like, that couldn't have gone better. You're like a, a really good candidate for this. Apparently I was under like hypnosis and communicating or, or reacting the way that he would want someone to before he'd asked any questions and things, I don't know. I think cause I'm so up for it, right? I'm, I'm very, I feel like I'm very, a very open-minded person. Yeah, it was really interesting. It wasn't sad or anything like that. Weirdly, I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting a bit too deep for the vlog. Really interesting. And like I said, I've not bit my cheeks today. I'm not be I didn't bite them yesterday. Usually I do it a lot when I'm in the car driving and I do it when I'm reading. And I didn't last night, so we'll see. It's weird, it's like my mouth's starting to heal up already. You know your mouth heals really quickly. I'll keep you updated a wee bit. I won't go into it too much. It's currently 20 past 11 in the morning. I was just filming some stuff for Vive and then I'm going to get my hands touched up at one o'clock. And then I'm having the girls up tonight for drinks and pizza. We were meant to meet up and it didn't happen because I had COVID. So now I don't have COVID and I'm feeling fighting fit. I'm having the girls up, I'm really excited. There's a wee update for you. I also made that joke, I made the joke about are you gonna put make me cook like a chicken? And he was like, no. <laughs> And then also something that was really interesting that he said was that, you know, you can get people that get hypnotised on stage and stuff for shows or like for entertainment. Do you know what? I would get picked because I easily just go like this. Quite amazing. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm getting a bit shy and I'm going to go make a coffee or something. Bye. I'm peeing all the flipping time, but it's good for you, I think. <laughs> of course it's good for you. What you brought a buddy in. What you studying? Education. That's where the money is. And I look like a grease ball, but I love it. Party time, excellent. Oh, I do look like something. <laughs> <laughs> Your therapist talks to, oh God, there's a guy right outside my window taking a scaffold. What about you? I don't go to school. I'm a dancer.